My name is Deborah Mitchell. I'm a visual artist and I use different mediums to interpret our environment. In the case of Wild Observations, my new project, I've been able to go into the field with biologists at Archbold Biological Station, um, make sketches, take notes on the things I've learned, and sometimes even take home some uh, specimens to work with, interpret the knowledge for the public, and then put things on display for everyone to learn from. In the case of this particular exhibit, Wild Observations was seen by over 2.2 million people in Miami International Airport. Uh, we're doing a virtual exhibition with Archbold this month on January 28th at 3.30 via a Zoom presentation. And then the show will move on down to Key West. I think it's important because the visual arts can elicit a visceral reaction in people. People can be very moved by a strong photograph or painting. And we're at a time in our society where change needs to happen. And I think to, inf to affect this sort of environmental change, we need to turn up the volume on how people understand the issues that we're all facing. So that's why I think the cultural arts can really affect change and why I use them to share my passion about the environment with the public. One of the very important foundational questions about the Everglades and our environment is the water. So I was very excited to go out uh, with senior biologist Hilary Swain to Buck Island Ranch and see the different habitats with her. Ask her the questions about sheet flow and how that will affect the rest of the Everglades. And, and, and being in such a wide open space and trying to interpret that through the arts was, was indeed a challenge, but we were able to cover large, the importance of large mammals, birds, amphibians and what they all mean to the ecosystem and that has been incredibly valuable to my work. One of the things I've always been very interested in is endangered species. So I was super excited to take some time with avian ecologist Reed Bowman here at Archibald Biological Station and discuss the endangered um, red cockaded woodpecker possibly being downlisted now to a threatened species. Reed shared his knowledge with me. We were able to compare and com contrast the ivory-billed woodpecker's habitat with the red cockaded habitat, and even get into the in-depth uh, work he's done over the years with the Florida scrub jays, which has just been so inspiring. Going out to these uh, rare rosemary balds with him and learning about the different plants and birds that thrive in that community, the endemic species, the, the, the importance of fire was very valuable to my practice. Having spent time with entomologist Mark Dayrup was very important. I was able to really understand more about the ambrosia beetle, this really tiny, tiny bug that's been eating the bay leaves and changing the way the Miccosukee and Seminole cultures um, have their rituals and their practices. I have a painting about that, so I wanted to learn more about it from the expert. And, and Mark was very generous in sharing his amount of information about that particular insect, about several moths that are pollinating things like the ghost orchid, about other um, um, insects that we don't really know about that are really setting the stage for our environment, like ants under the ground changing how they decompose matter. I mean, in our day-to-day -day life, we think maybe worms are doing all the work in Florida, but speaking with Mark Dayrup really um, helped me understand those foundational keystone species and how they affect um, our very interconnected environment. I think that having 
having the ear, having the, the, the time to talk with these experts in their fields about specific questions and then translating it through the arts can be a very valuable tool, again, to, to try to reach the public and, and share why this information is so important right now why we should care about everything being connected, the corridors, um, the water flow, and, and, and hopefully taking much more responsibility with that stewardship and, um, and speaking up when we disagree with things like uh, roads or different legislation that is affecting uh, the quality of our life.